<coughs> the recycling video? Yeah. I'm trying to get it started. And I got a little frustrated just before I turned the camera back on. So please, bear with me. I'm trying to figure out exactly where to begin. But, there's a lot of things that I have found to be quite useful by getting a second use out of them. Now, these aren't in the best condition right now, but I did, after a while, use these as my lip brush because the points were actually a little bit more precise. So, I say these. I do clean them. This these here, I got several little bags in front of me. But, yeah, I have been known to save the little boxes, inserts type things as far as the instructions to go with certain makeup things. That way if I'm writing something down for somebody, I don't give them the wrong information. I have different little scoops and different little scoops and spoons and different kinds of popsicle sticks and ice cream sticks and so on. I even feel like, why? Why not? Anything that you can use as a spatula to, you know, scoop stuff out. I mean, honestly, I think the ladies at the back counters need to keep the little, keep these around or something like this so they can know precisely what they're giving us as far as samples are concerned if they're so regulated on size. Um, for all of my ladies that use chemicals, the little relaxer kits and everything, the little stirs that come inside, a.k.a. tongue depressors, Wash them off with the hot water when they're done and hit them again with the neutralizing shampoo. These work wonders for, for scooping out things or spreading things around. Like, for instance, when we, we're all now getting to the point where we're learning how to save our blush and save our eyeshadow and so on. So after you stir it, you've got something to just take and go across it and smooth it out with. Works for me. So, that those. I have a ton of the little, I love the way Barstow Mama calls these, these Barbie doll brushes, but I actually, since I really don't use these anymore as far as application is concerned, I actually use them to get into those little cracks and crevices when it comes to taking off my makeup instead of putting it on. Every time someone has done my face, I get the applicators that they use on me. I take them home, I wash them off, and I use them for me. I buy brand new ones for everybody else, so don't get it twisted. Those of us that have kidlets know what these little things are. little syringes when you want the little precise measurements on how much liquid to put in this, like if you're making your, you don't want to do the cat by cat method as far as your mixing medium is concerned or trying to do your blush, your brush cleanser or whatever, or if, any, if there's anything you're trying to put together, even when you're putting your shadows back together, how much alcohol, syringe, suck it right up, plop it right down in there. I don't know, double use for these. These are the little, believe it or not, these are the little cones that they have in the doctor's office. They're clean. These are the clean ones. Not the ones that they stuck in your ear, but the clean ones. And, see how small that hole is? It's a great funnel. I'm going to transfer liquid from one thing to another. I don't even remember what I got this from, but this is a nice little funnel that I have. Uh, that pretty much covers that. 
these little blush brushes here, for the longest time, of course, they don't really cover much of anything as far as your cheek is concerned. I use a big fluffy brush, or now I got the kabuki brushes, so they they're wonderful at putting color on the face in the right place and everything. But these little darlings, I use these to put my masks on. Put on my mask or put on moisturizer or whatever because using the sponge sucks up all of your product. Sponges are great for blending but not applying product. Not to me. More spatulas. I saved them from whatever. I've got a Clarins one in here. I've got something. I can't even read what that is. That's something. Oh gosh, that's one of my mother's. I had it for years. This is one of the smallest spatulas I have. I don't even remember where I got it from. Oh, come on, dear. There, that one. So, you know, scooping out little bits of foundation or cream eyeshadow, you want to put stuff on your hands so you're not contaminating everything, that's fine. I know everybody talks about throwing away their mascaras and so on and so forth after after two months, after three months, or whatever. Okay, throw the mascara out, but why throw away the applicator? You can use it. Excuse me. Alright. Excuse me, that was my daughter. No video is more important than that, so I need to talk to her. Uh, just trying to do whatever. I think where I was was on these nice little mascara wands here. And basically, you know, I just cleaned them off and kept them for whatever. And I sterilized them. And you can still, you know, do your thing brushing up your eyebrows and so on and so forth or you can take it and stick it down in another of your favorite mascaras depending on the type of wand it is if you like the, if you like the wand and the way the brush was or whatever Cause like for instance this one has just a slight bit of a curve to it the one thing I can say about Clinique mascaras they are they're, they are nice Especially the, uh, I think it's a super glossy formula that they have. That one is one of my favorites. I love the little skinny brush on it. Now, Altoids tints. When you get the little circular ones or the squares like this, there are even smaller ones than this. So I, when I showed off my famous little. These are my favorite things to use of all time right here in terms of recycling. These. The, the flushable wipes containers that I get. I love putting my little stuff in here. This helps me organize and separate makeup for whatever it is by company, by type, by whatever. And we've all got these in the mail little AOL thing and they come in many different forms this one is a uh, one of those press board types it has like the little flip lid on it so this is like instant palette for me all I gotta do is put these bad boys down now and secure them I'm getting back to the alcohol pens for a minute this particular one I use this for putting in powder like when I have sisters like this and I don't have anywhere to put it, I just put it in here. So whatever I don't use, of course, close it up. You still got stuff in there. And you keep on going. Like I said, I love stacks. And these are readily available at your Walgreens. All I do is either you can put the little stickers that's on there or you can label them yourself if you can write small enough on the container like I have. There's that. There's the droppers. 
and everything. Another thing for the sisters who relax hair, you know how we have the little bottles and stuff that come in as far as the activator is concerned? This is only 1.84 ounces. So you can put something in here and you don't have to worry about it coming out. This has one of the chalk with caps on it. You've got to press down and do this before you take it off. So it's got a good seal on it. It's not going anywhere. So you can put your little liquids and stuff like this in here. And something else that comes out of those kits too. You can save these bottles. These are the right size. They're only four fluid ounces. 